Open your mind. Push reset and reboot your computer. Hi girls, um, this is T uh, from PNT TV. It's been a really long while since um, you all have seen me and heard me uh, since the debut of Angel's Ashes, my short story. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for giving it such great support, all your really um, nice comments that you all have been leaving. It's uh, quite encouraging. Uh, also, I, um, I, I don't know if you would have noticed, but I'm fast approaching 1,000 subscribers. I will be doing another vlog soon, as soon as I reach 1,000, to give you the update on what's happening with PNT TV, where we're at, where we're going. Uh, we just celebrated our first anniversary, so um, I didn't really do anything big, but I will be doing that vlog to kind of get everybody... Um, in tune or up to date with all the big major changes that have been happening with um, PNT TV, you know, the fact that we've uh, all the original vlogs have branched off now into their own blogs, they're doing their own thing, but very still much very a part of PNT television um, or PNT TV as you all have, have grown, have no know, know it to be. Um, but today, what I am here introducing is the second interview that I had with. Christy um, Conochella, um, Conochella, sorry, and uh, well, you would have noticed that two weeks ago we had a podcast interview with her uh, about her movie, uh, what she sees, her upcoming movie, what she sees, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But it was originally supposed to be a video interview, uh, so that wasn't possible at that time, but it is now. So. This is part two, and I hope you enjoy it, uh, matching the face to the voice, and enjoy the interview just as I did doing the interview. So be sure um, at the end of the of listening to the interview, please check out the links that will be provided on the page at Sinfales. That's also going to be the link whether you're watching it on YouTube, whether you're watching it on Sinfales. Um, just check it out. It's coming up soon. And uh, it's going to be great. All right? So thanks, guys. And uh, I'll see you soon. So Bye-bye. I see you. Our girl couldn't make it again. Shots. Yes, she will make it for the next one, though. <laughs> All right. Well, definitely we want to... I, I, I did find an area which we really didn't go into because it was at the end of the last interview. And... Uh, that is um, to do with the actual casting. And we had gone mm -hmm. into a little bit of it saying that, you know, you wanted to do it while you were down here um, using, you know, whatever means you had, whether it's Skype or whatever. And But in terms of the exact person, you know, like what features you wanted from the person or in terms of uh, not only uh, physical, but, you know, what qualities you're looking for from the person you're looking for to play your lead roles. Okay. Um, actually, I just had a conversation about this yesterday. Um, I Adrian is uh, between the ages of 34 and 45. Um, when I was writing the the script, I kind of had in my mind the character of Greta from High Art, Patricia Clarkson, who's yes. actually absolutely yes. amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, Adrian's not as as a as a Greta, she and she doesn't do the heroin, thank God. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's but her kind of likeness is what I had in mind, where the monotone kind of uh, way of speaking, a very very strong way of speaking, and a little bit taller. I imagine strawberry blonde hair, um, 
but but just to get a visual, Patricia Clarkson from High Art for, for Adrian. Now, Emily, uh, Bianca and I kind of butt heads about this, because I imagine Emily as being a blonde girl with, with green eyes, and, um, and Bianca imagines her as black hair and kind of like dark, more gothic features. So I'm, I'm very open to interpretation on the Emilys, depending on who I decide is my Adrian. Adrian is obviously going to be the most important for me to cast, and then I'll cast Emily based on the chemistry and, um, and how they look together and things like that. So, yes, so those are those two characters. And in the script, I have Emily. She she has green eyes, but I, I'm being very open depending on who we get as far as our, our cast, as far as people contacting me. Well, another important question on the cast um, that we definitely didn't um, touch on at all is uh, is how many um, characters are there in the in the story? Is it just those two female characters, or are there supporting roles? We have uh, we have four characters total uh, that have speaking parts in it, and we have I think there's like three kind of background people that have a few lines. But there are four characters: Adrian, um, Emily, obviously I've talked about them extensively. Um, someone who I haven't talked about who needs who needs some credit. Her name is Jean, and she is Adrian's um, her assistant. So there's kind of uh, Jean is this person who kind of keeps Adrian in her little happy little box. Um, so she she is a very she's a she's a very sensitive character as well because you kind of realize that there's more going on with her um, in in the plot of the movie of how things move and and where Adrian goes and it's a lot of it has is manipulated by Jean and Adrian doesn't know that. So Emily does but Adrian does not. Is it because um, she has um, any feelings towards um, Adrian, or is that a one of the yes, one of the little yes. tidbits of, of the of the movie itself? She does have feelings, and and one of uh, one of the biggest battles in the movie is um, is kind of that triangle because Emily is more of the symbol of the life that Audrey, the idealistic life that Adrian does want and Jean is the symbol of the life that Adrian is leading that's making her happy and it's and it's that battle between um, it's the battle between what Adrian wants and what Adrian has and now Adrian does not have interest in, in Jean like that but um, but uh, Jean gives up her feelings for what she believes is good the best thing for Adrian um, and but it's ultimately Adrian who has to decide whether what's right for her. So the problem is, is there's these people around her that are telling her where she needs to be and what she needs to do. But the main problem is that she needs to know and understand for herself what's best for her. So that that goes back to that that internal battle with with Adrian. Okay. Um, all right. We swerve in a whole circle here. Um, I remember you telling me that you were on your seventh version of the script. Um, yeah. Have you decided if that is the final, final, or is, uh, you know, have you been screwing around with your brain as you have plenty of time to put in more things or take out some stuff? Um, well, I'm definitely not taking out anything because uh, I, I still, when I read the script, um, have this feeling that there's some there's just one element that's missing. I haven't figured it out yet. I actually actually going. I went to you as you know. I went to Chicago for a couple of days. So when I was going, I had made the decision that I was totally going to distance myself from the script altogether, um, so that when I came back, I could read it as if I hadn't read it a million and a half times. So I just read it before this interview to kind of get back into kind of the feelings that we had the last interview that we had um but i'm going to sit down today and go through it and see see what i can add what i and what would what would make the the story make me happy as far as the end of the story i'm hoping that this and whatever i write within the next few days is going to be done you know put it to, to put it to the, the the writers guild and then and then print it out and send it to all the people who are involved now okay one of the other questions um, is one of the most important. What genre would you put um, what she sees in as of this moment? Oh, it's definitely a drama. Definitely a drama, but it has very comedic moments. But it's a drama. 
you wouldn't you wouldn't say it's also uh, a bit of a romance it is well a romantic drama with comedic moments perfect <laughs> that's perfect that's perfect it's my own pardon <laughs> i didn't hear I you it's my own. ah very well very well <laughs> um it's just it's just a good movie <laughs> um what uh, I did ask uh, some of our members um, to help me with some questions or what do you think, what direction uh, you think I should go with since that we've learned a lot about the film. Um, they actually gave me a couple of the questions that I asked you in terms of what else I had to ask. But one of the, not, but actually the number one question from okay. everybody was, Ask her about herself. So, <laughs> so um, that's one question I didn't ask at all. Um, what is what what is your history in terms not only of the arts, um, in, in terms of filmmaking, but of arts period. Um, of arts period. Well, uh, I guess I can start. I started kind of writing and being a part of that when I was very young I, I kind of got on the uh, the fan fiction boat when I was in high school and wrote a lot that way um, when I was in high school I did theater uh, when I went to college I went to the University of Kentucky but only for like a year he did uh, I had a, I was getting a major in theater and a minor in uh, creative writing and then college wasn't really my thing so I went to film school right. in Orlando where I'm from where I'm originally from um, and then from there I moved to New Jersey uh, and got and begged my way onto the crew um, of a concert venue in one of the casinos. So I've been doing, I got into uh, concert lighting, uh, and I've been doing concert lighting, that was in 2005, so I've been doing lighting for concerts and corporate events since 2005, uh, which is why I kind of dropped off on the filmmaking thing. When I was in uh, New Jersey, I was still kind of writing, I wrote a short film called Searching for Jenny Lewis, um, which I may be making in the interim uh, while in, during the planning stages of um, What She Sees, which is the movie uh, Say Quiero Bois. Um, so I, I was still kind of doing that, but I, I got so happy and comfortable within my, my life doing live production that I kind of strayed away from the uh, filmmaking aspect of it. And um, but between all those jobs, I still worked at Starbucks um, for my health benefits and all that good stuff. So I just um, I just recently after after six years, I just recently quit that quit my Starbucks job, which is what got me back into doing the filmmaking. Um, so I it's I've been kind of on a on a through line as far as as far as the entertainment side goes. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been writing and doing all this stuff and pl making plans since since I was 15 years old. So, well, what got you to how how you land up in in San Diego? Oh, how did I get to San Diego? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Where am I now? Um, <laughs> well, I I worked at a I worked at a casino. I kind of had I had the I'm I'm not originally from New Jersey. It's not. I went there with the intention of going to New York. I worked on a couple, you know, NYU short films and. And met a lot of people doing that. Um, and then I kind of had the crossroads where I had the choice between, you know, screwing light bulbs in people's people's guest rooms or coming out to San Diego and transferring with the company that I work for. Um, so I, I basically my boss who hired me was here, and um, I called. He called me. He was like, "Hey, we need a lighting director at the at the venue. Do you want to come out to San Diego?" And I was like, "Okay. When do I leave? When do you need me? I can leave. You know, whenever you want me to." So just like packed up, came over to San Diego, and history was made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, I'm glad to hear that you might be making um, a short film in the interim because people are like, okay, a film that's gonna take that's gonna be like 2012, 2013. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna see in the yeah. interim? So that's what that's another question that they wanted to ask. What are you? Are there any plans? Are we going to see you, hear from you, um, other than or sooner than uh, what she sees? Fem, come oh up. my! Since we last talked, I have plans for quite a few things. Um, I, I my 
I put a lot on my plate, but I, I know I can do it in the interim. Um, 